Hey everyone. All right, a couple weeks ago, I was able to go to the LA Auto Show and check out the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Now, just so you know, I didn't get any new information or specs at that auto show. The lady who was presenting pretty much said everything that is available online. So unfortunately, I don't have any new info, but I would like to share my experience with you. So it was interesting to hear what people were talking about as I was filming this footage. Um, I heard things from people thinking that it looked really cool to the people who thought that uh, it shouldn't be called a Mustang because, quote, it's not a Mustang, unquote, um, to people who were, you know, curious about it, didn't really know that it was an EV. Now, my reaction was that the car looked just as good in person as it does in photos. Now, I'm my feelings for the car are it's, it's okay looking. Um, I don't think it's a particularly attractive car, but I also don't think that it's ugly. And I thought in person, it gave me that same kind of feeling. Now, unfortunately, this was as close as I was able to get to the car. And this is the only one that they had there. So I wasn't able to sit inside of it. And this is the closest that I got to looking at the inside of the car, unfortunately. Um, apparently, if you put money down on the car that day, you were able to uh, take a look inside. Otherwise, for all the rest of us, we were not able to interact with the car. Now, my feelings about the name are, I think it, I can definitely understand how some people are upset about using the name Mustang, but I think it's also a pretty wise decision to use that name. It does seem like Ford is serious about making this a good EV, and I feel like a good way to advertise it and to get the word out, call it a Mustang. Not only is it controversial, but it's something that I feel like because it has the name, those people that might want a regular Mustang, but maybe the circumstances are that they can't get one. Let's say, so family, right? Let's say you're a person who would really love a sports car, but you have a family, you have to haul kids, you have to haul equipment, so a Mustang isn't practical. Now you can own a Mustang that is a more practical car. So I feel like that's a good marketing strategy to use the name Mustang. Even if it's gonna ruffle some feathers with die-hard Mustang fans, um, I think overall it's a good idea to use the name. Now unfortunately, as far as feel goes, we'll have to wait until the car comes out. I would love to drive it. Um, myself, I'm not a Ford or Mustang fan, but this car is interesting enough that I would want to rent it and try it out. Unlike something like the Audi e-tron or the Jaguar I-Pace, which I have absolutely no interest in, and I would not put any money towards renting one, um, I would pay money to rent a Mach-E. So we'll see, hopefully. Hopefully in the future, I'll have an opportunity to uh, try that car out. You know, they say imitation is the highest form of flattery. Um, as we all know, it, it really looks like Ford has taken a lot of design cues from Tesla. And I think it's a good thing. You know, there, there are quite a few things that they did borrow from them, but the things that I'm looking forward to and that I'm happy that they borrowed from Tesla, and not just Tesla, in, the, in this case, there are other manufacturers that have done it, but Tesla has done it really well and I feel like has set the bar for what EVs should have. Things like over-the-air updates. I know other manufacturers do it, but I don't think they do it to the extent that Tesla does. Um, and I don't think they do it to the frequency that Tesla does. Now, Ford is gonna have over-the-air updates with the Mach-E. You know, we don't know if it's gonna be on the level that Tesla does it, but it's good to see another car manufacturer adopting that. I think that's the way that all cars need to go, regardless if they're electric or gas-powered. And now I've heard a few different things about this, but apparently the two things I've heard is that the, the Mustang, the, the Mach-E is only gonna be sold online. And I've also heard that it will be sold online as well as in dealerships. Maybe that's something that hasn't been ironed out or maybe it's just you know a rumor mill, I don't know. But if it's being sold online in either capacity, I think that is an awesome thing to do. I think that is the way that things need to go. Um, I know there are people who like to go to dealerships, they like to haggle, they like the in-person interaction. Personally, I hate that. Going to dealerships is one of the worst things that I 
have to deal with in my life even though it's only you know once every five or ten years or whatever it's still horrible I want to be able to order my car online just like I order anything else so it's awesome that Ford is trying that out or you know apparently trying that out I hope they do um, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they approach it so those are my thoughts on the Mustang Mach-E let me know what you think do you think the car looks good do you think it should have the name Mustang do you think they should have gone with a more sports car type body instead of an SUV? Let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.